Hello, beautiful Virgo. After two unsuccessful readings, when I say unsuccessful, the phone just flipping flew onto the table. We're going to start again because maybe there's something that I'm not doing right. Okay. Loving the bottom of the deck there. Let's see what's on the top of the deck. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's start let's start with the bottom of the deck. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome. My name is Lila. This is gonna be a bonus for us Virgos. Okay. We will pick up on love in this reading, but we need to sort out ourselves first. Okay. People are gonna let you down in life. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know. Take it or leave it. That's just the way life is sometimes what i want you to do and as i keep saying 2023 is a year of healing my beautiful virgos is to understand it's okay to be sad understand it's okay to it's okay to feel sorry for yourself but we're not going to stick into that energy we're not going to stick there virgo let's not do that let's not concentrate on the shoulda woulda couldas I'm not sure if I've done my introduction. My name's Leela. I reside in London, UK. I'm also a Virgo. Shouts out to my returning subs. I appreciate you and your loyalty. People in life are going to take advantage of that loyalty. And if you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. This is the Virgo tribe. Feel free to leave a comment. Um, you can book me for a personal. Just get in touch for me on the socials. Catch me for live tarot, okay? Where I share, I share some of my life stories, actually. So I feel like there is sadness here, Virgo. There's disappointment. Maybe someone disappointed you. This is a reminder, beautiful Virgo, that life is beautiful. Life, life has free will. You know, your the choices that you make are down to you. I have this conversation with a friend of mine and he says, you know some people don't have choices and i kind of i disagree to a certain extent that yeah we do have choices we can choose to dwell on the sadness or we can choose to live in poverty or whatever your mindset the way you think about yourself the world really does have a rippling effect and the universe is always paying attention to our thoughts if you're telling the universe you're sad if you're feeling sad and that's the energy that you're going to attract i was talking to my friend today actually um she's an aries and you know, like, it's so funny, the fire signs, like, I adore them, but they are complete, like, she was saying, you know, I'm a bad person, um, I don't deserve to be happy, uh, and I was just thinking, girl, you sh don't talk about yourself like that, I thought it was just a Virgo thing, this is coming from a fire Aries, you know, what is the point I'm trying to make, sometimes I get a bit sidetracked, we need to fuck them fuck the ones that did us wrong you know fuck being disappointed in ourselves feeling sorry for ourselves concentrating on the sadness you've got choices what choice are you going to make are you going to make what's the choice that's best for you or the choice that's not best for you a lot of you guys don't even realize how powerful you are really so what is needed here for a lot of Virgos that are coming into this reading is self-care, is a break, is a vacation. What does self-care mean to you? Trimming your nose hairs, trimming your toenails, having a bubble bath, going on a vacation, getting a new hair did, getting your nails done, retail therapy, whatever it is that you need to do. Because Virgo, I value you. I know what you bring to the table. I know how petty you can be. We can be. Like, we can be so petty. But I think with age, we kind of just, like, as you get older, as you become an older Virgo, it just, like, you just don't sweat the small stuff. We don't have the energy for dramas and the rest of it. So, take a break. Look after yourself. And then after you've done that, get back to it. Get back to the person that you are. And the person that you are is very driven, very ambitious. Look back and actually look back and say, look how far I've come. Be your own, be your be your biggest fan, Virgo. Be your biggest fan. Maybe I'm 
rambling on, but I know that I know that this is gonna help somebody. Okay. So what are the love messages for Virgo? What's going on for love? What's the energy around love for Virgo? For me, this particular Virgo, I'm really embracing being single. Like it actually feels really good at this moment in time. I get sad, of course, like everybody else, but I don't stay in that sadness. No, 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 no. Some of us need therapy. Some of us need to dissect our feelings and work out certain situations and, and, and why maybe we repeat um, we repeat certain things, okay? Because Virgos at time, we don't like to talk about our emotions at times. We just kind of shrug it off and ah, we're fine, we're fine. And people wonder how we get through. Sometimes we wonder how we get through and we just do. We just push on, you know? So there's work to be done. With regards to healing and with regards to your dreams, your aspirations. So tell me what's going on for Virgo and love. What's going on? What's the energy around Virgo and love? Queen of Swords, which I like. Because this shows me... Oh. Okay, Queen of Swords, which I like. Because it shows me that you guys either need to or you're doing it already and that's you're seeing shit for what it is there may be some regret disappointment someone may have broke your heart let's just be truthful let's see shit for what it is do you deserve what you're going through if you're going through some sort of heartbreak or someone treating you a second best someone not reciprocating the love the loyalty that you give be real to yourself be true to yourself why settle why settle for less why not keep it moving? Three of Wands. So I feel here like some of you are actually being honest with yourself and you're realising that something's causing more pain than it is um, happiness. Yeah, the Three of Wands, you, some of you guys are just almost on the cusps. You know, you know it's time to move on, but some of you guys are not moving on. Some of you guys are settling for bullshit. Yeah? Settling for BS. Look at this. Eight of Cups turned around there. It's time to walk away for some of you guys. Some of you guys are already doing it. And step into your into your happiness. Look at this. Four of Wands here. Time to walk into happiness. Time to celebrate life. Life is so short. It's a gift that we are given every day we wake up. When you get up in the morning, set your tone for the day. It has a rippling effect. It's time to take the leap of faith, to trust your intuition, to enjoy life, to bring some sort of adventure in it. And, you know, it's okay to, it's not okay, actually. Maybe that's the wrong word. We struggle. There's times when we're going to struggle in life. There's times when we may not have enough finances. There's times when we feel left out. Nobody understands us. That's okay. It's time for you to understand you. Look at this, six of wands. It's time to shine brightly, Virgo. It's time to forget about the shoulda, woulda, couldas. Now, we have a Knight of Cups here. This could be someone in your life, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe they brought you sadness. Maybe this is what you're walking into. Take yourself out on a date. That's what I'm hearing. Take yourself out on a date, Virgo. You want to go out with friends? No one can attend? That's fine. Take yourself out. They're usually the best nights, the best times out. I do tell me more about this Knight of Cups. What, what is this Knight of Cups here? I feel like there's somebody here that really thinks the world of you. Wow, they may be a bit younger. Look at this. There's somebody here that is either coming towards you that's committed, or there's somebody here that wants to commit to you already. Okay, there's somebody that is wishing and hoping for it, they're hoping to have you around long term. They're hoping to build a future with you, to leave a legacy. They're hoping to commit. You tick every box. And for some of you guys, this is coming in. Once you do what needs to be done, i.e. the healing, once you walk away, for those of you that need to walk away, for those of you that are settling for less, be the breakthrough. Make the change. Be the change. And if you've got to be petty about it to make yourself feel good, be petty. 
you know. Do you know what just came to my mind, Virgo? Run their toothbrush through the toilet water if it makes you feel good. Whatever you gotta do to get your power back. What's yeah? What's coming towards Virgo in love? Who is coming towards Virgo in love? A king of cups for some of you guys. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Maybe they have water in their chart. Someone that's supportive. Someone that's got a spark in their eyes. Somebody that's very intuitive when it comes to how you're feeling. Hearing your voice and the tone of your voice. They know if you're happy. They know if you're sad. They know you. You know? Somebody that's emotionally intellectual. And it could be that somebody's going to grow with you from the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. It could be a fatherly figure. It could be a brother, a sister. What's coming towards Virgo in love? Seven of Wands, protecting your bubble, Virgo. The Knight of Wands. Adventure, happiness, dancing to the beat of your own drum. We've got two aces here. Clarity, success, passion, manifesting. But first, I think there needs to be a breakdown. It's almost like sometimes we have to hit rock bottom. Once you hit rock bottom, what happens then? The only way is up after hitting rock bottom. 11 minutes. Let's pull out an oracle message for Virgo. Just know that you're loved, Virgo. Whether you believe that or not give me another oracle card for Virgo okay I just did a private reading and someone got this card you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on keep the faith and keep going baby keep the faith and keep going okay do what you got to do for you then you also had have courage to ask for and accept help Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. Okay. Hopefully something hit home for you there. Okay. Do what you need to do, Virgo. Everything's going to be okay everything's gonna fall into place remember you can book me for a personal just get in touch follow me on the socials catch me for live tarot this is just a little bonus i love you guys thank you for the continued support don't think i don't see your comments i see all your comments okay follow me on the socials i follow back baby if you need someone to talk to reach out to me okay i have a good listening ear i'm very understanding and um yeah be kind to others as i always say but most importantly be kind to you and the gift will catch you on the rebound Mwah.